Take three. Hi and welcome to another video brought to you by AutoWave, the UK's number one distributor for Exhaust products. So in this video we're going to show you how to read an 8-leg EEPROM using the Exhaust Mini Prog and the Exhaust app. So for the purpose of this we are going to use a Bosch ECU which is a ST95040 EEPROM. I'm going to take the casing off which we had unscrewed earlier, locate the EEPROM using my microscope that I had bought also from AutoWave. I've had a look underneath the microscope and realized it's a 95040 and it's made by ST. With the mini frog, obviously you have the LCD display at the top. At the currently it's loaded with head one. You do get head three and head two in the box and you can see that there's a number on the top, number three, and you also get number two. So it will tell you on the app which one to use. So if I go ahead and I go to the mini prog, I set to uh, I select the EEPROM and flash. I then scroll down to ST because I know that's the type of chip that I have, the brand of chip that I have, and it's an M95 family because it's a 95040. So I select that. You either get pressure or adapter. The adapter is this particular adapter where you would desolder the EEPROM. In this instance, we're not doing that because we're going to go ahead and try and read it in circuit. And sometimes you won't be able to read in circuit and that's when you'd have to desolder. So let's give it a go. We're reading it in circuit first. So if I select 95040 pressure, it shows us here, it's got a quite small, but it says number three because that's head number three, what we need to use. So what I will now do is I will remove the preloaded head, which is number one, take that off and I'll put on number three. Now you may notice that obviously you've got some pins, you must ensure that they're aligned. So you put them on nicely, apply a little bit of pressure and just twist to secure into place. Now that's secured into place. It's also very good to just ensure that all the pins are intact, clean, clear of any debris and also not bent. This is a brand new unit, so it's clearly very good. So now I'm going to Look at my display, line up my pins, and go ahead and start the operation. Just an important point to note is that on ST chips, generally speaking, where it says ST is normally pin one. And on the actual adapter itself, one of them has a very small indent. So there's no indent there. There is on here. It's a bit harder to see on the camera, but you will see it in the flesh. And that denotes pin one. So if I look at the board, I know my ST is in the bottom left. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm actually going to put it clip over the top and press the pressure down. So on the top, we've still got this normal screen and on the app, we've got read. So um, I'm going to hit read. I'm going to read the EEPROM and then I'm going to hit start operation. So it's telling me that I've only got 24% battery, which is fine for this particular purpose. It's also telling me to press the adapter, so chip on the adapter. So continue, you can either press start or hit continue. Now what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna hit continue. And if you see on the top of the device, it says okay. And it says okay because it's checked, it's read the pins and the pins are actually tested fine. Here, it's very important, you've got two options. Obviously this is in Chinese right now, but it will be edited within the next few months. Very important to change the file name. because if you don't change the file name, it doesn't always save. So I'm just going to put it as 95080 test. I'll put it with a few T's as well. Now this means save and edit. So if you were to select this, it's going to open it up in another window, which we'll show you in a second. So for this purpose, I'm just going to hit OK. And then you see there, reading complete. Then if I was, so now it's reading complete and there's still OK on the top of here. I can remove this and that has now successfully uh, read the I read the EEPROM. So I'm going to go back and now I'm going to go back again. And on the main screen, we have file management. Click on file management. I go to local file. As you may see here, we have not this one, mini prog, and then I've got test with all the T's. 10 past 4 and it's the 16th of April. So that is the file that I've just read. And if I wanted to, 
I can actually go ahead and edit, but I can ensure that I've got a good read. And as I can see, I have got a read of the file and then I can do with that file as I wish. If I was to have selected save and edit, it would take me automatically to that screen, which I'll quickly show you now. So if I go through to ST95040, and this time what I'm going to do is for the purpose of the video, I'm going to use the start button. So if I just apply pressure, press read. I want to read the EEPROM, start operation, gives me my battery. So now I've got a start button just here. And when I press that, it will automatically read. And there we go, it's read. So I'm now going to tick that box, go back. I'm just going to name this one tick and there it brings us straight through to the screen with all the data now a lot of users tend to do this anyway so then they know they've got a good read so you've not just got zeros and F's but I can always just hit save as and I can just save that file it's got a timestamp and there you go save success and you'll find it via the file management so that's how to read an eight-legged EEPROM using the mini prog all products are available at autowave.co.uk thanks for watching please subscribe and share for the channel